You know, in recent days, we've been talking about Pittsburgh Penguins uh, players from the late 60s, early 1970s that played a large factor in the team's early years. And this guy was very popular, a very unique uh, background as well. We're talking about that in a second. Now, Nick Harbaruk, or Her Her Herbaruk, hope I pronounced that name, like Dennis Maruk, uh, was born in Drashina Poldalshi. Uh, at the time that was part of Poland. He was of Ukrainian descent, actually, but his family immigrated to Toronto when he was five years old. He spent the majority of his major league career with the Pittsburgh Penguins, but also skated with St. Louis and the Indy Racers of the WHA. He played over 500 combined games in major league hockey uh, as a six feet, 195 right winger. Now, before uh, turning the major pro, he had uh, kind of a, an interesting career in the OHA with the Toronto Marlies. He played uh, almost three full seasons with the squad, but got called up to the AHL in his second year with the Marlies. And he also helped the Marlies win the 1964 Memorial Cup, that very uh, strong squad. Now, Haberuk then spent five seasons with the Tulsa Oilers, uh, which was a minor league affiliate of the Toronto Maple Leafs in the CPAHL. Now, he did get a college degree down there, which it was no surprise. He was a very smart guy. He eventually found his way to the WHL at the end of the 69 season where he played three games. Now, he was taken by the Penguins in uh, the 69 interleague draft and eventually made the big team in 1970. His rookie campaign in the NHL, he had 22 points in 74 games and three big goals in 10 playoff games. 71, 72, and 73. He put up uh, some solid numbers, 25, 29, and 25 points, 13, 12, and 10 goals. He eventually found himself in St. Louis for the 74 season, then jumped to the WHA, where his numbers really, really jumped as well. In 75, he had 43 points in 78 games, and 76, he had 42 points in 76 contests. Now, 77, he found himself uh, that year playing kind of a part-time role with Indy, but was sent to the minors for most of the season in Oklahoma City, where he had 35 points in 42 games to wrap up his career. Now, final WHA totals, 89 points in 181 games, including 4 points in 13 playoff contests. NHL totals, 120 points in 364 games, including 3 goals and assists in 14 playoff games. Now, what was interesting as well, we're talking about the Renaissance aspect of this gentleman. He had a degree, he won a Memorial Cup, he was one of the early players with the Penguins. He also played with a very uh, popular racers team in the WHA over a number of seasons. But after all this, he also took time to give back by becoming the coach of Seneca College Squad in Toronto. Now, unfortunately uh, for him, he passed away at the relatively young age of 67 in 2011. Now, there was some question if he was going to uh, end up in NHL as a coach, but at Seneca, he had uh, he was very well established uh, there. But, you know, with Tulsa, you know, he put up some really impressive numbers over those five seasons, 27, 20, 14, 20, and 26. But unfortunately, he could not make the, uh, the uh, Toronto lineup, and that was very stacked against him, uh, unfortunately. So, uh, Herberuk, Haberuk, whatever you want to pronounce it, very, very uh, dedicated player, dedicated individual. And, you know, for people that were following players of Ukrainian and Polish descent uh, back in the day, he was uh, he was a role model to the to both communities. There was some question, again, he should have been given a chance with Toronto, but by the time Pittsburgh and the Racers came about, we knew he was a major league player, but it took, again, a few years for him to break through. And, you know, when you're a rookie... When you're 26 years old, you know, that's kind of late in the NHL. But again, those seasons with the Racers really, really showed me a lot because Indy, again, was a very, very fast team. And, you know, he was a very sturdy player. He can move, ladies and gentlemen, which uh, ended up with those uh, number of seasons in Major League Hockey. So, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for listening. If you like what we're doing with some of our Pittsburgh Penguins vintage podcasts or former Penguins, let us know. Give us a like, comment, or subscribe. And uh, maybe give suggestions about other uh, penguins from the expansion year to the late 1970s you'd like to see me talk about. We've talked about Logan McDonald, John Pronovo, and different people. So uh, please give us a suggestion. And, uh, you know, we've already did some of the goalies as well. So 
Uh, go to the archives of your Penguins fan. There's lots there for you. Have a good evening. Bye.